So I'm Charlie Law and I've been asked to show you three rigs I couldn't live without on commercial style waters which I fish. So they're pro predominantly F1s with an odd carping. So I'll start off with probably my favourite. Um, it's a little muddy style float. All it is is a little short dumpy float with a rugby ball stem. Thick bristle, two mil bristle, fibre. I think it's fiberglass. Nice and strong and durable. Uh, these are just guru baggers. In a point four, I think that's important because it's you're fishing in shallow water, which you might find a point four is a bit heavy, but all it offers stability and bombs your bait right down. So it's for fishing in like 18 inch and less, two foot and less, setting a nice little trap and putting your bait on top of it. Mainline 017 engage. Uh, sometimes I'll up, up it to 019 or even 022, um, but for most of the fishing I do at Partridge Bradshaws. 017 is fine, uh, nice and durable. Two back shots, usually two number eights, even if it's flat calm, you need them just so you can keep your float as still as possible. Um, and then straight shotting is dead simple, bulk of number eights, this takes six number eights on cubes to a three inch up length. Um, now the up length decides on what I'm fishing for. Three inch and four inch, if it's deeper than 18 inch, I don't mind using a, a four inch, but three inch predominantly, 16's up, SLWGs, 013. If I'm using maggots, I'll use a 16's. If I'm using a bit of worm or something, I'll use a 14's. Um, likewise, if I'm going partridge and I might be fishing for a few carp in the mud, I'll up it to 015. Elastic, 013 all of which depends on the venue. So next rig is my rig which I use a lot for fishing short with maggots or fishing short with meat in spring or even late autumn. It's a little maggie style float, one and a half mil bristle, carbon stem. I think that's important, it gives a nice natural fall, falls your bait down. Um, shotting for this, dead simple. Bulk and one dropper. Sometimes depending on the depth, I'll use a bulk and two dropper, but nine times out of 10, I'll use a bulk and one dropper dead simple i don't like to complicate it with strong bolts and everything uh, i've never had an issue with a bulking one so it's all i use again cubes again just because they don't move when they're on my line anyway when they're bulked up like that they don't tend to move uh, whereas if you spread them out they do move and they don't damage your line and i don't i don't see a problem without using them hook clamp four inches pretty much all of them will be four inches on this um, again size of hook depends if i'm fishing with maggots 40 uh, a 16s slwg 013 bottom sometimes i'll use a 14s if i'm fishing meat but usually a 16s slwg four inch to 013 again mainline durable 017 two back shots depending on the wind um usually it's two number eights i always fish with back shots even if it's fat calm i can't fish without them and then the final rig probably well probably gets the most use is a little dibber little shallow rig now shotting for this is a bit different but i'll talk through the rig again 017 mainline i like to keep all my fishing simple so all my f1 fishing 017 mainline nice and durable two number 10 back shots uh i'll get into why that's important in a minute a point one guru dibber uh, i like these because they're a bit thicker than my other dibbers i use sometimes i use an rw1 for like my overshotting and this is a little bit heavier which I like because I'll, I'll explain there's I shot this with a number 10 and a number 11 shot just because they're spread out and they'll move and I'd rather put off with the put up with the odd shot pinging off um, rather than keep moving stots about slightly spread out I think that's important when you're fishing shallow because if it's bulked right down there's more resistance and I think the fish feel it less when there's when it's spread out a little bit uh, three inch up length 16s or 18s slwg banded or non-banded depending if i'm fishing with maggots or casters if i'm fishing with maggots i like a 16s uh, and then casters are like an 18s but sometimes i'll step up to a 16s on casters now a lot of the fisheries i go to bradshaws and even lindome sometimes is the rule there is your back shot can't sink your float now i've got it shotted with a number 10 and a number 11 with two number 10 back shot now this won't sink my float. If I put it to the water, my float will still stick up straight. Whereas if I had two number 10s and I sink my two number 10 back shot above it, my float will sink, so that's not allowed. So wherever I can, 
I, that's the rig I'll use. Now, at tunnel where I am today, I can get away with adding more shot because there's no rule of your back shot sinking your float, but I still try and use a two number 10 just so I don't get used to it. And to be honest with you, I don't, I don't see a difference of if I had two number 10s down the line or a number 10 and a number 11. Uh, I think it is important you have the number 11 at the bottom end just because it keeps that natural flow, uh, fall a little bit. But that's basically it, it's dead simple. Dead simple F1 really.